That's farmer friend singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're those taste bud guys. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. I'm Chris. That's Lyle. We're those taste bud guys. And that apparently has become our standard intro because I can't think of nothing better to say. What? Okay, if you've watched the last couple weeks, you know for the last uh, two weeks we've done some Watch a Town whiskey. That's not changing for at least this week. And next, we're going to continue to do some Pacha Town whiskey. Pacha Town. Because they were so kind to give it to us. And uh, so far, we've really, really liked it. So there's no reason to think we're not going to like this one as well. And today is the single barrel, which we've been very much looking forward to. Yes. Um, so my understanding is that the single barrel is picked um, first in what is remaining. That's what goes into the Small batch. Small batch. Okay. Small batch select. I mean, that makes sense. That's. Do you have any other pertinent information wrote down over there that we should say? Or have we got through most no, of No, I think we got through most of the stuff. Okay. Um, Quick recap. This is a, a distillery in Oklahoma. Um, somewhere near the Broken Arrow area. That's just what's almost to be hard to say. Broken Arrow area. Um, Come recommended to us, well, to me, uh, from somebody I met while I was drinking beer over there in a brewery in Muskogee, and we reached out to him, and he was kind enough to send us some stuff, and I got to say so far, we're not disappointed, so hopefully we're going to see a lot of these guys around here. Oh, nice, peppery. So I got to be honest with you, I... I've got a friend or two that are deep into bourbon, and they're quite the snobs about anything that doesn't come out of Buffalo Trace, basically. And I want them to have this. I feel like this might go. I out. think this is going to be a surprise to them. I really do. This is very traditional bourbon smelling. Um, got a little bit of that brown sugar notes. Got the leather. Got wood. This one more so on the wood than the other two. Yeah, no, I oh, it's, God, my mouth's watering, waiting for it. <laughs> Um, but I'm doing the show. I'm going to try to actually tell them what it smells like. Oh, yeah. Unlike you. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so I, all the nice things you think got bourbon are in there, but it's not overpowering. It's not like too boomy and alcoholic. This smells like something that you, when you sip it, if you like bourbon, you just know you're going to enjoy that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll agree with you. It does have a very traditional bourbon smell. But stronger wood than the other two we've had, I think. Much stronger. Yeah. Now, what's the proofing on this one? 60, so this one's even hotter. Thank it you. It tastes hot. Yeah, all right. The best way possible. Whew. Ooh la la. Man, that just keeps on burning. Yeah. So it's really sweet. Uh, well, not really sweet. It's got a sweet note on the back end that's, that's heavier than the other. Seems like they've gotten sweeter as we went along. Yeah. Um, I get some brown sugar, and mm -hmm. I get big cherry notes, but but not not like a dark, you know, uh, Luxardo cherry, like a higher bang or something. It um, I I keep going back to the wood, but this is so much more wood than the other ones that had in them. <clears throat> it's piney. But, yeah, well, I was gonna say cedar, but I was like, that's not cedar. Would have been piney. That's the right thing. Yeah. Um. Should be sponsored. I'm actually really impressed with this. What I, I think what I'm impressed most by is it has no sour note to it. Whereas you, you usually yeah. you get some, uh, um, you get some, I'm not even just going to say smaller batch stuff. I'm not even just meaning smaller distilleries. Big distilleries do it too. But a lot of uh, smaller distilleries in particular don't seem like they finish their stuff quite as well. I guess. I don't know. I'm talking to my butt. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, like that's that's my have... perception, is it doesn't finish well, or maybe it's unaged, or whatever the case is. And we did say these had age statements. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking... Um, I know which there's, I know. there's a sour note that goes along with it, and I, it's not here in this one. Yeah, I'm show the software you're doing whatever you're doing. Uh, doing what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I Thanks know it's... for the help. You're cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, though, with the smaller boutique distilleries. Like, a lot of times their stuff is really high high notes like really high in flavor um, in terms of like profile 
Um, and it does always kind of leave that sour component on the bit, back of your tongue, but this does not. This is nice. The corn comes through a lot on this one, too. That, mm -hmm. that, uh, which is, uh, I think, 100% Oklahoma corn. I mean, not 100% in the bottle. That's not the right. rash bill. But all the corn is from Oklahoma. That, that's what I understand. <laughs> they said it was... 80% Oklahoma corn, the way I read that is the mash bill is 80% corn and it's all Oklahoma corn. I could be wrong. Maybe it's 80% Oklahoma corn and 20% another, but I don't think that's the way it is. I almost get like a match stick um, nose on it. I was trying to put my finger on it. I thought I said pepper, but it's not quite pepper. Um, I agree. There's really not a heavy pepper note in it's it. It's like there's... Well, and the, on the nose, you kind of get something kind of spice and I'm Ouch. maybe white pepper ground I think my like match stick is where I'm at like the the red I'm going to report. reach for one today and only because it's coming in my head I had Jimmy John's not sponsored here but but welcome to that <laughs> um I had Jimmy John's for lunch day and I ordered Jimmy peppers was it fast well I would I don't know I wasn't the one that ordered it so it was timely it was right when it's supposed to get there I guess I don't know <laughs> anyways uh-huh I ordered mine with these peppers because I told them I wanted uh, banana peppers. They, well, they don't have banana peppers. They have chimney peppers or whatever they're no. called. And these little red, round peppers. But oh, I know it's trying to so freaking good. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. It doesn't have a pepper note, but there's a little heat, a little spice that gives it this big flavor. Because I can yeah. tell you, every bite that didn't have that in it tasted completely different than the one that did. And that's the way this one is. That's where I was going I'm going to risk ruining this. I don't think so. you're going to ruin it. I think it's exactly what it needs is just a drop of water in it. I, I, a piece of this kind of reminds me of, uh, of Booker's. This is uh, infinitely more corny um, than Booker's. Than Booker's. Oh, Booker's is yeah, just yeah. so dang hot. Um, it's been a while since I've had it, but same, but there's a reason. I mean, didn't do it. It brings out the flavors more. It takes away the heat. Just trust me here, son. I maybe like, I don't want that. No, I mean I think it. Oh man, it really brings the nose too. Yeah, I mean it, all the flavors. It gets come, really floral. All the flavors come way forward on it, which is nice. But I do like really hot stuff, and I'm kind of in the mood for a hot whiskey right now. So, but certain things that would be phenomenal. I think it certain nights. I think it toned down the lasting of the heat, but it amped up the initial flavor. And well, the heat that hits your tongue very first. But that being said, I think I was wrong. I prefer it without the water. I do right now, but I could see if I was sitting down, wanted to, you know, chill out for an evening. This would be a nice way to go. So. Yeah. Hey guys, I know uh, this may not be widely distributed. So some of you guys that are further out away from Oklahoma, Missouri may not be able to get this right yet. I do know for a fact they are uh, um, increasing a distribution area. I know it's getting ready to go into Oklahoma. Um, I'm sorry, the Arkansas. And I'm assuming you guys are close to Oklahoma. You're probably going to be able to get this. I hope this goes way bigger. Uh, this has been a product that I've so far enjoyed. I wish still got a bottle and bond left. Yeah. I, I'm i just going to say, I hope you guys get to try it. If you take a road trip, plan to go through Arkansas or Oklahoma, and pick you up some of this stuff. I don't even think you can go through Oklahoma without going through Tulsa. No. I, I think it's geographically impossible <laughs> and you're required to go through Tulsa. And if you're in Tulsa, you might as well go on over to Oklahoma. <laughs> I mean, Arkansas. broken arrow. Broken Jesus. Broken boat? No. It's a broken arrow or broken boat? Broken arrow, I think. Is it? Well, I'm not sure now. Oh, no. I forgot there was a broken boat, which means I'm pretty sure it's broken arrow. <laughs> All right. You got anything else? So somebody you? might want to look at a map. Just look up Hotchatown. You'll find it. Yeah, I'm going to find it. Uh, all right. Fantastic stuff. Very excited for the next bottle. Until next time. Whether it be... Can't say Chiefs you're rooting for because it's that time of year and we have to. Oh, the well, we want to. Food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing. Or the people you're meeting. Grab a buddy and try something new. Hey, guys. If... Uh, well, you know what? We'll let our buddy Colby tell you since uh, he calls right before we did the ending. Colby, tell him. Hey, like and subscribe. See? Wow. Get him from all over. <laughs> Click on these episodes down here.